Roswell Flight Test Crew here. Today we're looking at the Horizon Hobby Blade Inductrix 200 FPV drone. Click subscribe now so you can watch our new videos as they come out. Okay, let's see what's inside the box now. So, here we have in plastic. We have a little charging stand here. We have the power adapter for the charger. We have a battery. This appears to be proprietary, but I have the little clip in there. It's pretty handy. You can just snap it in place. And of course, the aircraft itself. It actually feels pretty sturdy. It's light. And you can see here they call it inductrix as the fans are kind of ducted, sort of. It's a floor bladed brushless motor setup. It's also got a small little camera right in the front here. You can tilt the camera, it's like up and down. So if you're flying very, very fast forward, you tilt the camera up so it can maintain your horizon. Very, very cool. Only two buttons that I can see on the aircraft. One in the front here, one in the back. Let's see what else we have in the box. So we have this little thing here, which contains additional information card lithium ion battery safety guidelines. A manual on the aircraft itself, which actually I did look over this online and it has quite a bit of information about how to set it up and how to set up with your radio. So everything's in there very clear, very nice. Here we have tools, a small screwdriver and an Allen wrench in case you have to maintenance it or of course replace the propellers, which they do include extras here. I don't know how you'd break one of these, but they thanks they gave you some spares. That's it for what's in the box. So the first thing you want to do is charge the battery. It's pretty simple, little charger there, you just plug it in. A little light comes on green, flashing, say it's ready to charge. You take the battery, just insert it, it only goes in one way. It'll blink red while charging, and then solid green when it's done. Now that we have a charged battery, let's bind it to our radio. Thank you. So I have here a DX8. You can use DX5E or better with this aircraft. So let me just insert the battery. And then, Tap the button back. Once it realizes there's nothing there, it should blink. Okay, blue blinking, ready for binding. So take and hold bind, turn the radio on. Throttle warning, of course, binding. Okay, good to go. So now we bound the radio to the aircraft. Let's take a look at the little camera on there. So the camera is going to require that you have a pair of goggles handy. Oh, thank you. So these are the Fat Sharks from Horizon the Teleporter V4, which are the perfect pair of goggles for this aircraft because the frequencies are exact. So a great thing about this, this little button in front here changes your frequency that you're on. They line up exactly with these goggles. If you and a friend want to fly, you can fly together with no problems. So I want to focus a little bit more on the camera for a second. This is an NTSC camera, 5.8 gigahertz, seven channel. It's actually band F immersion. It's 25 milliwatt transmitter. On the top here, it's a little button, select your channel. It just cycles one by one through the channels every time you press the button. So pretty basic. In the rear of the aircraft, we have a small light and it indicates the flight mode and battery condition. So blue is stability mode, basically low angle beginner flight. Green is stability mode, high angle, intermediate. Runs a little bit faster, a little more aggressive. And red is agility mode. It's for experienced pilots only. It removes the roll limits and you can flip and roll the aircraft. At any time while flying the aircraft, if you see the red light blinking in the back, land the aircraft, the battery's getting low. The flight time on this aircraft is six to eight minutes, but they recommend setting a five minute timer on your radio just to be safe. So Horizon made this very easy to work on. Simply remove the prop guard by twisting and then use the included screwdriver to remove the propellers. Two little screws here and it pops off, no problem. And also keep in mind that spare pieces are available should you break or lose one of these things. One more thing worth mentioning is that with this aircraft, there are third-party upgrades available. People are making carbon fiber frames, aluminum cowlings, very neat. Now it's time to take it outside and see how it flies. So to flight test the Inductrix, we've got clear weather, still air, and something fun to fly into. Let's go see how she does.
All right, so initial impressions getting it airborne. Felt a little heavy as I was bringing up the throttle, but I've still got plenty of headroom, and it moves pretty quick, actually, when you start flying it around. And keep in mind, I'm in the stabilized mode here, so uh, it's got some speed. Now, I don't doubt this thing would be a little obnoxious to fly indoors with that high-pitched whine it makes, but out here, you get more than a few feet away from you, and it's pretty quiet, so overall, I like it. Fun to fly, this would be a great training aircraft, really a perfect training aircraft with those ducted fans, so you basically eliminate the uh, collision danger. Let's try it with the goggles. Whoa! This is some old school FPV. It's been a while, but I've missed it. This is fun. Okay, it's an extremely wide angle lens. Uh, the quality isn't bad at all, except you do get the occasional static breakup, but I mean, that's nothing which is going to surprise an experienced FPV pilot. And to be frank, it's not a problem for somebody who's getting into FPV. The signal's holding up pretty good. I'm obviously keeping the aircraft nice and close to us here. It's fun. Now that we can see it's working fully to design specifications, let's have a little fun with this play structure here. So that was our look at the Inductrix 200 from Blade. Hope you're watching. See you next time. All right, fly safe. Uh, that's a sporty one.